Hi, welcome to my broadcast. It's uh, 2.15 or 14.15 GMT on Saturday the 4th of March 2022. Welcome to the stream. It's very simple. I'm going to squeeze this one in before the uh, F1 Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying at 3 o'clock. And it's uh, the F2 sprint race that has recently finished. I've tweeted out the result on Twitter at SportyPH2 of the top eight. Uh, I'll go through that quickly. So the top eight were Boschong, Hauga, Martins, Irasa, Pochere, Pochere, sorry, De Ruvela, Maini, and Fittipa, the top eight points finishers. Um, Boschong was, um, it's a reverse grid, so he was 10th the other day in qualifying. Gets reversed and he goes first. And um, anyway, so it'll be a very quick one. And uh, I should get on with it. Here's the, um, I've already selected the F2 career mode and I'll just go through these teams quickly. So these are ones, just to go through the lineup of the drivers that are definitely in this year and those that aren't anymore. Horga is definitely in, Deruvula is definitely in this year. Duin is in this year, he didn't do very well today and Sato isn't. Liam Lawson isn't and Logan Sargent isn't, Logan Sargent is uh, makes his F1 de debut this weekend. Marcus Armstrong isn't also. I talked about where Armstrong and Lawson have gone in future. Virit Vips is not in either this year. Vesti is and Pocher is. Drugovic is obviously the F2 champion and is a test reserve driver for Aston Martin. Novalak is in this year. Caldwell isn't in this year. Boshang is the one we're going to pick. Just finishing off. Nisney is in. Eras is in this year. For sure. And Williams isn't in this year. Fittipaldi and Caldwell's not in this year. And Hughes and McCordill is in this year. So going back, it's Campos, was it? Campos is Beauchamp. Okay, so we'll do some settings. And we're going to do... So it's AI difficulty is hard, 60. It's a manual race start. That's a little bit like a car and a... Uh, clutch control, get to the biting point, etc. Balls and flags, it's strict corning cut and stringency, that means you will be penalised for exceeding track limits. And immersive pit stop experience is very interesting, it's a totally new uh, setting in this game. Immersive means that you turn in at the right time uh, to maximise your pit stop times. If you put Broadcast is just as it is normal where you go in and it's all looked after for you, but I'm going to put it on as immersive. We probably we won't need to pit, I don't think, in this race. Weather and time day, I won't tinker with that, and uh, it tends to be quite warm in Bowen Grand Prix. Ring and structure. Uh, there's no practice, there's no qualifying, and there's a race format, a feature, and sprint and feature. I'm going to do a feature late length. Uh, no, we're going to do a sprint. Uh, no, we'll do a sprint and feature, and we'll do a medium race as well. Assists. Uh, I have a wireless controller, not a steering wheel, and it's medium brake assist, medium traction control, auto the gearbox, pit assist on, pit release assist on, EI assist on, and DI assist on. Start the event. It's a randomised grid, so I don't know where Boschong will be. As I said, he finished 10th in qualifying, but because of the reversal of the grid, he started on pole today, and he carried on and won the race quite convincingly by three or four seconds, I think it was at the end. Now, if I crash in the these streams, they finish. doesn't matter whether it's on the first lap or, Hello or whatever. Hello, from the Bahrain International Circuit here in Sakir. Down on the grid, the engineers are making their last check. Didn't see the grid, grid position, but we shall do that. It's okay. So it's X for the clutch. So 
so I start 11th. Now right hand side is a good strategy for me, as long as I keep away from trouble. Nudge there, be careful about exceeding track limits. Steady starts. Start the limp and are in a limp. Could be a safety car now. Cordell is uh, out. Good for points finish. Fifty power is just behind me, and then there's a gap to call on. Getting away the others at the moment. It's me. Down to twelve. It's gonna be no problem hanging on to twelve now, hopefully. Calder on is got a penalty three seconds and is already three seconds behind. Gap is near near four seconds now to Fifty Powdy. Hold on is gaining, but has a three second time penalty. And the keeper ahead of the Tatiana called on the lady. Colombian. Not driving in there. 
this year's championship. She's also a uh, IndyCar driver, or was at least last year, so I don't know if she'll be in IndyCar. But IndyCar is starting St. Petersburg, Florida uh, tomorrow, and I'll be doing some sort of uh, tweeting about that on my Twitter account, that's what it goes to IndyCar. And then this season I'm looking forward to driving on the IndyCar game, but when that is, I um, don't have the end of the one yet, until it's developed and released. So it's looking like 12th position. So if you're in a situation where it's not going very well for you, but you're still racing, I've said before on my streams, try and improve your familiarity with the track layouts, set better sectors and better lap times. coming and keep away from Hughes but Hughes hasn't got a time penalty so now this is a battle Hughes is only 0.3 behind but sure is quite a way back so we should be alright This part is tricky because sometimes you can get hit on the back. So we're coming in for 12th position.
and So if you don't want to see the podium celebrations, just uh, hit the X button. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I'll probably go for Logan Sargent. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in the pack, and he was good enough to take the opportunities. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So we'll have a look at this lineup again and uh, work out which drivers are in the uh, championship this year and which aren't. So Arasa is, Caldwell isn't, Nissany is, Sargent is making his F1 debut for Williams this weekend, Sato isn't in this year. Hauger, Vesti, De Rubler are. Lawson isn't. Pusher is. Fitty Powder is. Boshang is. He won today. Hughes isn't. For sure is. Novelak is. Cordon isn't. Vips isn't, Armstrong isn't, Williams isn't, Drugovic won the championship last year and is test reserve driver for Aston Martin, Doohan is, and Cordill is. Um, I will do a lineup of all the drivers on the roster at some stage over the weekend when I don't know. Okay, uh, let's have a look at lap times. 144.660. Yeah, some way off the pace. Okay. <clears throat> so, with qualifying approaching, this will be the last bit of the stream. And we have a feature race length of eight laps. Welcome back to the second race of the day. Let's have a good starting grid this time. The grid order. Liam Lawson lines up on pole position, with Teo Porcher starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vesti, Sargent, Jan Deruvela, and Sato, Hauger, Nissani, Caldwell, Ayumu Awasa. Boshong, Calderon, Enzo Fittipaldi, Doohan, Vashaw, Hughes, Dragovic, Clermont Novelak, Armstrong, Cordiel, Williams, and Yuri Vip starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. <clears throat> okay, so it'll be 11th for game. See if we can get to better. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get over to the right hand side. Sometimes it works. Whoop. Just going up a bit there.
in contention this time. So if you've never driven F2 on racing games, there's four reasons why you might want to do it. One, you may never have heard of the drivers. Two, you may not have any idea who, who the good teams are. Thirdly, because it's a sh one chassis that's not upgradable, unlike F1, you get tend to get closer action. And fourth, you have the uh, squint feature by scenario, which is being partially adopted in F1. So now we're chasing down Sato. The The roster has been set this year, but I suppose it could change. When, when drivers get injured, stuff like that. There's a bit of a gap to Hauga, Hauga, the Norwegian, 1.4, is pretty good. Try and get this gap between me and Sato, but it's growing again. is closing on me here. So.
this thing just hit me, but no damage to affect the driving. Again, the gap to Sato is far too big. Just about got away with track limits there. But two seconds has completely destroyed my race now. we're doing it that so we need to get to the situation simply select the X button and retire from session retire from the session if you want to do so and that's it from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Okay, so thank you for watching and as I say I'll put out a list of uh, full results for the F2. Twitter at SportyPH2. And uh, F2 is on early in the morning, and I'm just hopefully we'll put the results out for that in the morning as well. And uh, so, thanks very much for watching, and catch you again. Bye bye.